Hello, everyone. It's me again. I really hope you can hear me this time because I've sorted out all the settings. Um, I mean, pers I, I don't. I really don't expect you to be able to hear me, so I'm speaking pretty loud at the moment. Um, I've had to turn down the game sounds a lot because. I figured the main issue was that the game sounds were getting in the way of my talking, so you couldn't hear me that well. Oh, go away. I thought I already spoken to you. The game sounds were getting in the way a bit, so I had to, um... Yeah. I've, I've turned down the, the sound and everything. Hopefully you should be able to hear me, but in the future I will... Hopefully get a headset and here's another egg. Liam. I'll 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 get a headset because my microphone is picking up the game sounds as I said. Um So we got all the eggs. We've got all the eggs. Yay. Um So I'll be getting a headset so that it doesn't pick up the game. I've said that like three times now, haven't I? This is the Sparks world. We can't enter there yet because it's like we've got a, we've got to go to the next world basically and complete the next world before we can do it. Which is a little bit annoying because it means we've got to do quite a lot of backtracking. There isn't too much backtracking in this game, and there shouldn't be any at the start of the game, just so long as you've got Sheila. Um. Oh well, there's a few levels which you need to come back to in the future. Um, Molten Crater being one of them. I think that's just about it. Okay. There are, I think, 400? 400, 400 gems. We've got to get all 400 gems, and then we've got this place completed, and we can finally go to the next place, which will be... Uh, I would do Sunny Villa. Usually I do Sunny Villa first, but today I'm doing... I'm going to do Sheila's Out. Because there is a Sheila bit in um, Sunny Villa, and we won't be able to do it if we haven't actually got Sheila. This is the bit where I end up with, like, one gem short, isn't it? I, I'm actually going to kill something if I've got, like, one gem short. Oh my god! Yeah, you are joking. <laughs> um, you know, I this has happened to me in the future. Uh, uh, bleh, bleh. The past. Yes, this has happened to me in the future. Because that makes perfect sense. I, I think I'm just going to ignore it. Because I don't want to spend ten minutes looking for... A, like one gem. I'm, I'm going to ignore it and I would I, I hope that my trusty viewers will tell me where I've missed out. I expect I, I, I've ran past it. It's really obvious and everyone's going, no it's that way! It's that way! Go over there! No, no you're going the wrong way! Because I know that happens all the time when I'm watching people. I'm like, no! No, 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 don't go that way! Oh, you've gone the wrong way! Yes, well, I'm going to try and keep that to a minimum so that people um, watching don't shout at their iPod screens or computer screens or whatever they're using. Um, there is a little thingy up here. Oh my god, I can't believe I missed it. Yes, let's just hop straight into Sheila's out. Oh! See what I did there? Hop. You know, like kangaroos, yeah. Basically, we've got enough money now so we can buy. <sighs> you won't be able to hear the cutscene, so I will have to skip it. Yes, no hard feelings. Basically, Sheila kicks money bags. Oh, I, I regret skipping it now because that's a good cutscene. That's a good cutscene. You've missed it. We've all missed it. Yeah, this is a level where you do not play as Spyro. You play as Sheila. 
obviously, that's why it's called Sheila's. Um, what? Hang on a sec, guys. I'm gonna pause it for a sec. So, <laughs> yeah, I think there was something wrong with the disc. That's something wrong being it's probably scratched. So, because basically I couldn't reload that save, probably corrupted. So I tried loading another one, did the same thing again as soon as it got to Sheila's Alp, it corrupted. So I'm using a ROM now. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, when I did it this time though, I, um, I got all the gems somehow, and also now the screen doesn't shake, so, so you won't be having seizures, you know, while trying to watch it. So let's actually watch, let's actually watch Sheila kick money bags now. Yeah, um, I don't know what's just happened to the sound. I I think the sound's just disappeared, but but either way, that's um, it's fine. Oh, here we go. Sounds back. Now let's see the corruption screen again. Please don't do it to this 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 ROM as well. I've just had to save success. Oh, thank God. Oh, I thought it crashed for a second there. So Sheila's out. Pretty simple level. I think the, um... Perhaps the sound is kind of mucked up on this one as well. As if you heard... His speech, then it was um kind of erred, oh, you know, like I ha you can't, mm, I can't really describe it. It's just all broken up, and it just sounded like it's a. I'm trying to play from a dirty disc, but I'm not playing from a disc. I'm now playing from a ROM. So yeah, Sheila. Pretty much the same as Spyro, apart from the fact that she's a kangaroo and not a dragon. And also, she can do double jumps, she kicks rather than charges. She pretty much, you know, she can't flame. She just press circle. Instead of flaming, she just kicks the same as pressing square, basically. So, And now, here's our first egg. It's lucky we got here then. We don't want our eggs to be turned into omelettes. I don't think dragon omelettes taste... In fact, that was really close to hatching, so... um, It would be more like a smushed up dragon fetus rather than... Um, rather than... <laughs> an omelette, really. That's rather disgusting, actually, isn't it? Now you think about it. Dragon fetus. It's just... Oh, God. Don't think about it. Don't think about dragon fetus. I'm changing the conversation now. Now, 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 now. Um, kangaroos. They are um, native to Australia. That's native. Is that even the right word? Is that the word I'm looking for? It doesn't sound right. Sounds like... No, I'm not sure. Let's change the conversation again. How about the next level? The next level is Sunny Villa. I usually do Sunny Villa first, but as I said, there's some Sheila stuff in it, and I don't want to have to come back. We will do some backtracking. We might do some levels like really quickly. And yeah, what I'm gonna do as well, once I've completed the game, I, in fact, while I do the game. I'm going to try and get the skill points, and I haven't showed you what skill points yet. 
Ah, uh, yeah, so if you don't know, I'm gonna leave the surprise till we get to Sunny Villa. Because there's a skill- no, yeah, there's a skill point there. Uh, you have not locked- oh, good. Um, there's a skill point in Sunny Villa. Quite an easy one. They're not, as I said, they're not really skill points there. Let's turn the duck dance. Yes, it's, um... It's not really skill points, it's more like luck points. You um really just got to do weird things. And there's twenty of them in the game. I'm going to try and get all twenty, although it's gonna be really difficult. Um So Once, once I've completed the game, I'm just going to do them as I go along. I'm not going to go back just to get some skill points. But once I've completed the game, if I haven't got all the skill points, then I'm going to go back and get any which I haven't got. This bit's pretty easy. All you've got to do is smash these mushrooms. Oh, that's the first time you've been hit! Why, you... And I'll despise these. What are they? Rhinoc miners. And we've been hit again. At such an early stage. Yeah, I think the music is kind of slower on this one. But I think this version should be better because, for one, the screen doesn't shake. And second of all, it's not going to corrupt every save, which, which I have as soon as I enter... Sheila's out, which would be actually tragic, because originally I was going to go back and play on um, my original save, which I completed, you know, on the PlayStation. I um, I did complete it apart from one skill point, which is actually a really easy one to get. Um, but I was going to go back and get that last skill point. Now thinking about it, if my save game was going to corrupt, that, that would have upset me a bit because that was one of my sort of one of the first games I well yeah it was one it was one of the first decent games I played. I mean my my the first game I played was Sonic the Hedgehog and yeah that's um I love that game. <laughs> I love all the original Sonic series games. I didn't really get to play some of them though. Um specifically Sonic and Knuckles and Sonic 3 I didn't play that much. I only really uh, play, started playing Sonic 2 in like 2005 when I got like the Sonic Mega, Mega Collection. It was on there and I was, you know, I, I thought, oh yeah, I'll start, um, I'll play some of these retro Sonic games and, but I've played a lot of Sonic 2 since then. Sonic 3 and Knuckles, I never really got round to playing. Uh, I have played, I've played quite a lot of them, but I, you know, I never really played them as much as the others. Oh, we haven't got all the treasure there. I have to go back. I think that shall be the end of this episode. So... As I said last time, leave your comments and stuff. I don't know how this is going to sound, so I'll have to test it out first. So this, um, my voice here might not see the light of day, but yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.